Oh. Oh. Welcome back everyone. This week we're at Lorden. Uh, oh, good job Lucas. Uh, I mean that was not his first time uh, doing that. We'll, you'll see that later on. So uh, yeah, uh, this is the traditional inaugural ride of my riding group. We always come to Lorden for the first ride of the year as the group together. I know I've done Burnt River and then I did the Beagle Bash. But um, yeah, we came to Lorden because we always come to Lorden. I think it's like one of the first places we all met and like, you know, decided to just do this as a like, tradition now. And this week we have uh, myself, Lucas, uh, Chris, Derek, and a guy called Yan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like I missed one else. Oh, Darko! It's Darko as well, of course. I was like, he's definitely someone extra. <laughs> Anyways. Um, been out for a little nip around the woods already and I've come back because I've already managed to lose two of the screws out of my handlebars that was holding my, um, my ignition switch in. So that was just kind of flapping around and kind of annoying. So we put um, some whiskers on my bike and like it, it'll be really useful because obviously if the whisker, the yellow whisker hits, is like touching a tree, I know I've crashed. So it, it'll be super helpful. Um, yeah. So it was also really cool to get out um, and see. We bumped into a bunch of other people here today. Uh, yeah, I saw Fox today. Um, not a uh, Fox, the guy Fox. Uh, so that was really cool to see him and have a little chat with him. He, I came back through the trail and he was like looking at me like, hey, hey. And I didn't really recognize him because he had his fucking helmet on and a completely new set of clothes. Like, how was I supposed to know it was him? And then obviously as soon as he took his helmet off, I was like, oh, hey, of course. So that was kind of funny. Oh, so, um, yeah, the weather was absolutely stunning. It was supposed to be pissing with rain, um, you know, classic spring. Um, but then we saw that the forecast changed from 10 mils of rain to sunny. And it was like meant to be 17 degrees, but it was actually 26 degrees. It was so hot, so nice. The trail, the dirt was perfect. It was, it, like, it couldn't be a better day to go riding. It was so good out. Um, what, what a start of, the, uh, start of the year. You'd hardly believe it was May in Ontario. But yeah, bloody brilliant. Um, oh, and uh, uh, so <laughs> I just also found out another thing. You know how last week I was saying um, my wrists were a little bit sore because I felt like my wrists were so high up and also my handlebars were bent backwards. Uh, sorry, my uh, butt busters were bent basically vertical. But it wasn't the fact that they were knocked backwards. My whole sweep had been knocked backwards, so everything had been uniformly knocked backwards, and I didn't realise. So I put the put the <laughs> put the bars back, and, and I fell over because obviously I'm not used to the the, the, the like the, I was slightly out of riding position and fell over. I, I didn't crash anymore on the bloody day, uh, apart from just like stupid things trying to get over logs. But that was that wasn't anything to do with the position. That was just <laughs> it's just uh, so dumb. But anyway, I also lowered the controls a little bit um, because they were still what I thought was a little high. And it's good to say that the day after I have absolutely zero wrist pain, although, you know, I did quite a few kilometers less because obviously it's a trail ride and we're just goofing around. Um, I also fiddled a shitload with my clickers, um, just reduced the rebound there because um, I put it up and then I was like, eh, it's kind of pogoing me a bit. I'm not going fast enough. So I put it back down. So we just got Darko ahead playing around in this bit. Oh, didn't fell off that. <laughs> oh, and um, talking about uh, another thing that was missed from the Beagle Bash. So uh, I, there was a, quite a bit of drama at the start before the race. Um, I, I, I went and got my uh, bike all done sound checks and all that. And I came back and I was like looking underneath it. And I was like, why is my bike pissing so much fuel out? I uh, started panicking a little bit because I didn't know what to do and this never happened before and uh, Vanessa and her husband Ryan were stood next to me and they were like we know Kevin we'll go get Kevin we know where he is and they brought Kevin back that was the that was a quite fun job there sorry and um yeah so uh, they went off and got Kevin he came back and uh, did his magic oh hang on this is Lucas's first attempt bloody ran me over god damn it Lucas <laughs> And his, and his all the cool crew. There goes Chris. Uh, Yan. Yan. Derek. Coming up. Coming up the rear. Darko. Yeah, anyway, so uh, they went off and got Ke uh, Kevin. And uh, oh, we he led the bike over and uh, he started whacking it with uh, with my spanner. 
and uh, whacking the, the carb to because the front of the carb float had been stuck open. Um, I've never had this happen before, so I didn't know what to do. And I never, I, I now know, lean the bike open, whack it, whack it a shitload, and if it's still not good, like let uh, let the screw open a little bit and whack it some more. Um, and eventually it'll unstick itself. So that was a shitload of drama at the start before the Beagle Bash. I was freaking out, but thankfully Ryan and um, Vanessa knew where to go. They, they, they uh, who we have to go get to resolve that problem. Although I'm pretty sure they could have fixed it themselves because they were like, oh yeah, I knew exactly what it was. <laughs> it's like, but well, now I know, bloody ethanol. So, Jan uh, decided to Superman here. I didn't realize he hit that ditch oh, yeah, just that buddy. I just passed. And he landed this far. Bloody hell. He was getting up, so I wasn't in a huge You're rush right? to. Something drops. Oh, no worries. Whoa, your phone. Was it broken before? Oh, <laughs> it's broken now. <laughs> they were talking about the thing that came off his uh, helmet. I didn't see it. That one? Yeah. That's what you came through? Yeah. Fucking hell. Wow, he went, yeah. How did you make it up here? Right over the bars. I found. God damn, sir. I know. Oh. Yeah, anyway, so back out on the uh, sand, I was like having a great time rising around it because it's kind of like not super soft. <laughs> and I know where the pothole is, so I don't want to, uh, the ditch, so I don't want to hit it. I still fall over. I mean, I've done like 10, 10, 12 laps. You don't need to see all the bloody laps. <laughs> but I was having having a pretty good time right, racing around this. The sand's not super, super soft, so I was able to get some like half decent grip, but still have like that sandy feel to practice. So it wasn't like super gnarled sand, it was just sad. Um, so yeah, that, that was fun. Um, like, I feel like a superhero going around here, but I know that like, if I went to Gopher, I wouldn't be able to ride properly, and I would be all over the place. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I don't think you need to see like the billion laps I did around this area. I mean, all the guys were being sensible and waiting. The water was really high today as well, so we were like coming around because we want to come down this side. It was like, oh my god, puddles deep. The roads turned into a turned into a lake. That's a little deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep, but it's alright. Bit deep. Turn around. How far did you go through? Darko is absolutely <laughs> dripping. He fucking sent it through that. The other guys got spooked because it was a bit deep, so they uh they went back. So yeah, I, I was practicing trying to get some speed and flow. Um, I've been fiddling with the suspension a lot more. I've um, I think I I, I went one extra on the compression and one uh, less on the rebound. No, one more on the rebound. And um, it seems to feel pretty good, so I'm quite happy with that now. Um, now I just need to improve the skill. <laughs> it makes it look like I'm going really fast, but I don't maintain this pace all the time. But I had a really nice, fun ride down this rear section and, and, and on the way back as well. So, yeah. All in all, really good day for Lorden. Good start of the year. Um, yeah, I think I'll just uh, let the riding go for a little bit. Don't need to listen to me talk. Oh, one other thing. At this point, I had totally fallen over um, on a rock that I was trying to jump over, and uh, I may have uh, snapped my, my gear shifter, so I'm just stuck in third. I, I do change gear, but it's just less than I would normally. Ah, 
out my eyes. So yeah, this was our inaugural ride at Lorden. Um, good start to the year of 2024, my fourth riding season. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. See ya.